my YouTube velocity here, and if you can't tell, I am very upset. I just played through like 40, 30, 40 minutes of this trial, and the file for the video got corrupted. So I have to play through all of this again. I actually didn't have a save for any of the points in the trial. So I have to go back to a point in chapter four and play through, play through it. I'm, I'm so annoyed, dude. Oh my God. But um, now this video is gonna come out a bit later than I wanted it to because, because of this. So I apologize for that, everyone. I'm, I'm gonna try to get this out as quickly as I can. The elevator that felt cramped once felt so empty now. Was the elevator always this spacious? It almost feels pleasant having no having more room to work with. On the other hand, the noise that the elevator makes feels more noticeable this time around. That I can't help but raise my eyebrows. The others, the others would usually rant on about friendship and teamwork and stuff around this time, but they're keeping their mouths shut. Guess they're at their limits, huh? I mean, seeing Saibai's point of view is pretty interesting. Now, will this trial successfully be successfully finished in this situation? Well, not that it matters too much for really. me. What does that even mean? Shinji Kasai, the brawn of the group. You can't just ignore the difference in physical abilities in these cases. Even if you got some strength, it wouldn't be easy to win against him in a one-on-one -on -one fight. And someone killed him, which probably means they didn't use a straightforward method. <sighs> yeah, that is true. Oh my god, so many people are dead! Dude! Now then, how shall we play this game? There are so many dead people! The start of the trial of death. Oh my god, I didn't even realize how many people died. This game is messed up, bro. Let's start with the basic explanation of the class trial. The result of this class trial will be determined by your votes. If you vote for the correct blackened, only they will get punished. But if you pick the wrong person, then everyone besides the blackened will get punished, and the blackened will graduate from the school trip. Now then, let's first sit back and assess the situation like usual. This case is pretty much settled, so it shouldn't be hard to solve. This is so weird, seeing things from his point of view. That being said, this case is sure different from all the other ones before. I wonder how far these dimwits will make it without my help. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that is that is so unsettling. Yuki, he's had enough of everyone's crap. He is he's done. He's done. They're like Oh my god. Isn't it too quiet in here? I know we're running low in numbers, but let's try to keep our hopes up, everyone. Why is he the one to say that? Just shut up! Honestly, I don't even have an idea any idea what's going on. Who's the culprit and what really happened? You act as if this is a surprise. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> Why is Iraha even here? Iraha, Mikado, you two should never speak unless it's really needed, alright? I would appreciate if you didn't treat me at the scene. Oh no, you're you're worse. Okay, you're not worse, but a total shit show. And the people who acted as our leaders are all gone. Not to mention you guys are being awfully quiet in this this time. I was just trying to lighten up the mood. Sora. Yeah? You know, you usually let us during class trials, remember? I know I might be asking for too much, but can you do it just once more? It's so weird playing from someone else's point of view. To be honest, it's just as Ira has says. Too many of us have died. Setsuka and Shinji, who are always up to rally us together. Kokoro, who led us through the dark with her genius brain. Even Kanade, who I can't call human in good faith, isn't here anymore. You can't call her human, because she's not. Yeah, and everyone except for us two aren't even trying to speak up. What do you mean? I'm doing my sincerest best to be cooperative. You do not count! Please, I can't do this alone. Can you help me? I would like to help with the trial, but it's not like I'm particularly smart or anything. Okay, that is a load of crap. All the trials so far have been possible because I got the help of Kokoro or Kanade. I couldn't have done it alone. If I'm being honest with myself, I still don't have any idea what happened in this case. Let's all think together. I know we suffered another loss, but we aren't dead yet. We even survived through imprisonment, so if we work together, we'll be sure to... Work together to do what? Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, he's done. He's done. He's had enough of everyone. He is done. He, d he does not care. It's gonna be one of the Void's plans anyway, and one of us will die again. 
Yuki, I know you're sad because Shinji's dead, but are you really just gonna give up like that? I said this before, but don't lose hope. There is a way, I know it. Fine, I'll at least pretend, dude. Oh my god, he is a completely different character now. He is a completely different character. Entirely. We have Sayobai. Shut up! What? Bro, every time she speaks, I get aggravated. I swear. What? We still have Sayobai. Even he doesn't want to die, right? So he'll solve the trial for us. <sighs> well, he isn't really the type to do the dirty work for himself, unless no one else is up for it. So we probably have to figure out some stuff on our own until he feels it's necessary to cooperate. Alright, I'm sorry. I guess I was being a bit too down. Yuriko said it well. We can't just die here. Let's use our heads together like we always did. There's no need for that. We already have our culprit. What? Yuki, you're the culprit, aren't you? <laughs> what? He's even, like, he has an eyebrow up, too. Like, you see the difference in his sprite? What? Yuki's the blacken? Care to explain this fucking... <laughs> he, he does not... He's done. He's done with everyone's crap. He, he's, he's not having this. You've been quiet this whole time, and now you say you know the culprit? Don't play dumb with me. You know you can't when we were both we were both there at the crime scene with Shinji when it happened. What do you mean? Explain yourself. This is a class trial, so we should all be on equal footing when for there to be a logical discussion. So so allow me to explain everything that happened before and after Shinji's death. But before that, I would like to emphasize the fact that the person who's most connected to this case is me. So you say you, yourself, are the key to this case. Some of you already know this, but after we were freed from our imprisonment, I picked up my book in the Oracle Room just like always, when I found out something peculiar written inside mine. Something peculiar? It said that one of us was actually helping Void behind our backs, right? Huh? What? I never even heard- <laughs> She almost outed herself. Ara is so dumb. I remember, I also recall that Mikke suspected Shinji as the spy. People I gathered in the meeting room already knew this info. I also told you that I would try to speak with Shinji alone as a Void member. Just like I promised, I called Shinji over to the power room. Okay, yeah, um, I think I- I think it's clear what happened. I was trying not to be too direct with Shinji. Things were going smoothly. But unbeknownst to us, Yuki had snuck in and was eavesdropping on us. What? Oh, really? You don't even know what actually happened? If you're gonna be like that, then I also believe I have a say in this. As you said, I was definitely in that room when it happened. But I was unconscious because somebody had ambushed and stunned me! Somebody ambushed you? When? Right after I heard that conversation- one, Right after we had that conversation in the meeting room. I lost consciousness, and when I came to, I was already in the power room. you have any proof? What was that? Tough. <laughs> Because of your statement just now, my statement of you being in the power room was proven to be true. But can you do the same to your statement of being ambushed? How could I prove that? I don't even know who attacked me. Huh, what good are those words if you can't even prove them? You went to the power room just because you wanted to. What? That's just... So, then what happened after Yuki showed up? While I was distracted with Yuki, Shinji suddenly attacked me. Shinji attacked you? What? It was right then that I lost consciousness, so I don't actually know what happened after that. But one thing I can say for sure is that when I came to, Shinji was dead, and Yuki had disappeared. Huh. By those statements, Yuki is no doubt the black. Yuki, is this true? Did you really kill Shinji? Of course it's not true. Why would I kill Big Bro? Then tell us. Tell us what happened after I passed out. Nothing. Okay, that's a load of shit. Yeah, it's just like Nikkei said. It did look like Big Bro took Nikkei down. I don't know if it was because he was the traitor, but I was afraid I was going to get attacked as well. So I ran away. Oh! Is that all? Yeah, I don't know why or how Big Bro died, okay? Then who killed Shinji? I don't know. If both of them are telling the truth, then we must have a third party that is the true culprit. No, we don't need the existence of a third party to explain this case. Sora? Nikkei, you say that after you woke up, Shinji was already dead and Yuki had disappeared? Yeah. And what did you do afterwards? What do you mean? Of course I... I just ran away because I got scared. I thought I was going to get killed when he attacked me, after all. Nikkei, allow me to say the very words you just said to Yuki. Can you prove it? Oh my god, what's your source? What's your source? What? If Yuki killed Shinji, that means you were there unconscious while the crime had occurred. 
even if you were knocked out, don't you think it's weird that Yuki would murder someone when he didn't know when you were going to wake up or not? Rather, you had the perfect chance to kill Shinji after Yuki left. Not to mention you were left alone with Shinji in that room. Okay, that's a pretty damn good point. A way to prove my words? Well, I can't say I have such a method. But when I woke up, Shinji was dead with, with blood spewing out of his neck. That much I can say for sure. So you're saying you're not the culprit? Of course. At least I have no reason to kill him. And you're suggesting I have? Both of you shut up. We can't solve anything if we're just shouting meaningless words at each other, honestly. We gotta use logic to deduce stuff. I think Nikkei is the most suspicious one here. I mean, can we even believe his words on there being an insider to the voids? Perhaps he was trying to break our group's harmony with those words and plotting to get rid of Shinji. What the hell was wrong with you, Sora? Did I do something to you? <laughs> Honestly, I thought they were friends. What is happening? What would I gain from lying like that? Just that I can't trust you. Bro, he literally the other day, Nike was saying how he liked Sora. What is happening? You are the culprit after all. You're a void, of course. What? Sora. Do you think it's weird that he suddenly suspects Yuki out of nowhere? Okay, she. there's something wrong with her. You think so too, right, Yuki? Sora, is something wrong? You're acting a bit... Yeah. <laughs> so this is the friendship and trust that you guys were talking about. I mean, who could I blame? I'm a bloody criminal, so I should be glad you, that you'd even listen to me. Well, I'm sorry that a sinner like me tried to save your asses. Stop it, Nikkei. It's Sora. That one was too far. Please, everyone, let's try to stay focused on the trial and save the unrelated stuff for later, okay? No, he's the culprit. I'm sure of it. What is this? Then how about we all vote for me? Let's just fail the trial and die together. What is happening? What is happening? Oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh, shit. Here we go again. I thought they could at least last five minutes, but nope. I guess I have to step up and do something, as if I haven't got more annoying stuff to deal with. Okay. I honestly have no idea what happened in this case, guys. Like... Okay. This I already know. I'm just gonna go through this so you guys can see it, but I already know what the answer is. In case the culprit. Sora... Th what? And why is that? You're the one who was with Shinji the last, that's why. Weren't you in a better position to murder Shinji than Yuki? You got no proof, it's all just speculation. That logic applies the same to Yuki as well. I'm not the culprit. Would all of you stop fighting and calm down? Dude, this is, this is horrible. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Also, I love Sirebi's No, That's Wrong, it's actually amazing. Hey, Albino, what's gotten into you? Honestly, Saibai? How can you be so sure that the reporter was the last one to be with Shinji Kensai? It's almost as if you actually witnessed the entire thing. Way off, Saibai. Nikkei himself said it, remember? When he woke up, he was the only- only he was there with Shinji. That's only if we assume nobody else interfered after the reporter left. How the hell can you not remember the fire? If we're going by your words, Nikkei Yamur Yamiori was the last one to leave the place, so he must have been the arsonist. So, reporter, give us the news. Did you actually cause the fire? Of course not. I know nothing about how the place caught on fire. That's wrong. He mu what is wrong with her? He must have caused it. Why are you so dead set on that? Sayabai, why are you interrupting our discussion? I thought you weren't interested in our business. Just shut up and mind your own business. We'll take care of it from here. What the hell? Even he can't say anything. What is wrong with her? Is it me, or did Sora just get scary? Sora, I think you need to calm down. Seriously, we all hate Sayabai, but this is a class trial. We should listen to him at the very least. <sighs> yeah, Sayabai even won against Kanade. Sayabai, you're being our hero again, right? Dude, Iroha? No, just stop talking. Shut up, I'm doing this because I want to save time, idiot. <laughs> if I just do nothing, this whole class trial will consist of pointless fighting between you people. Besides, there's something I need to check out immediately after the trial. And what's that? Now, let's get talking, Albino. You said that even if there was a third party involved, it's obvious who is the culprit. And how can you be so sure of that? Every case could have an infinite number of variables that is yet to be discovered. 
that you I knew all this time wouldn't do something as stupid as this. No, maybe you just overestimated me? No, there's something wrong with you. I just believe that Yuki's not the culprit. But Sora, that is a baseless claim. Honestly, Mikado is- <laughs> What this dude is spitting right now? That is a baseless claim. By that reasoning, there's no reason to believe that Nikkei's the culprit as well. Oh, would you just sh Oh my god. Why is it always me getting scrutinized? <laughs> I'm not Kokoro Mitsume, but I'd say I'm also pretty good at reading people's minds. And you, Albino, are acting very anxious right now. No, I think you've got the wrong idea. No, what- what- why in the world would you be so anxious right now? Yuki Maeda and Nikkei Yamiori are debating right now, and why should you be anxious about that? Wait, Sayabai. Just to be sure, you better not be suggesting that Sora's the culprit, are you? No, she's not. How if I know? So you don't know? You think I'm a superhuman or something? To solve something, I need to deduce it. <laughs> to deduce something, I need clues. So in order to solve this trial, we need to talk about it more. Dig for more hidden clues instead of fighting. I couldn't have said it better myself, but doesn't it feel kind of odd when it's coming from Sayabai? <sighs> Kokoro knew the culprit from the start. You know. Can you stop complaining, please? Guys, Sayabai's right. If I think we're a bit too heated right now. Do you feel ashamed of yourselves? Even Saibai knows that this isn't the right thing to do. But we calm down and start over. And Terya, you haven't said a word since we arrived here, yet we know. Screw him. Who cares? You don't need my help, because I won't be any help. Yeah. Just treat me like I'm a nobody from now on. And why are you suddenly depressed about this? It's your life on the line, too. If he doesn't want to participate, then just leave him be. Probably wants to just collect himself before his inevitable doom. So, is everyone just breaking character now? <laughs> Alright, I'll apologize to Nikkei. Why don't we talk over this once more? Thank you. I agree completely with Saibai that this isn't like you. We should have acted more reasonably. Now then, instead of pointing fingers at each other, we should look at this, uh... Um, what direction should we take? I guess you aren't quite the leader type, Yuriko. Since I want to end this quickly, consider this a treat. There are only three people related to this case, so you don't need to worry about anyone else. Yuki Maeda, Nikkei Yamiori, and Albino Girl. Talk about what, sh what each of these three did over the last few hours, and this case is finished. Ronos is innocent. Saibai, may I return the very words you said to me? How can you be so sure of that? Instinct. <laughs> Dude, this guy's awesome. What? I go get instincts. Oh, I'm half joking right now. You think this is funny? We need logical proof right now, not some nonsensical jokes. Are they fucking kids or something? Do I really have to spell everything out? <laughs> Guess I gotta show them the proof. The proof that everyone else other than those three are in it. Okay. Uh, alibi wins. Yeah. I even said this in a comment on the previous video. Bubblehead. I'm talking to you, Bubblehead. What? Oh, you're talking about me? Wait, how would you- <laughs> It's because you're dumb, Iroha. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Put your yapper. Tell them you're a cow that you told me during the investigation. Hey, you mean the one about the alibis, right? So you've been investigating as well, Saibai. I mean, you always did your best while nobody was looking. Granted. Alibi? What alibi? Well, Saibai asked me our whereabouts since lunchtime until the body announcement. I've been with Yuriko this whole afternoon, and Terry and Mikado were in the break room together, right? Oh, I see. Because I was with Iroha and Terio was with Mikado, we have solid and sound alibis. So, everyone excluding us four will be prime suspects. Nice work, Sayabai. And those suspects would be Ike, Yuki, and Sora. You heard him. So, can you three quit your bullshit and just tell us what you've been doing? Honestly. Dude, this music always- this music always gets me pumped, man. Okay, alright, alright. I already said everything I did. I called Shinji to the power room and I was talking with him. I passed out after getting attacked by Shinji. When I woke up, Shinji was dead and I got startled, so I ran away. Same for me. I got attacked by someone, and because it looked like Big Bro was attacking Nike, I fled this place on the spot. I was investigating the top floor and met Yuriko. And after we spoke for a while, I stayed there. 
until the body discovery announcement. After I heard it, I came back down. That's a lie. Why are you lying? There's only one thing I need to think about. Do the statements match the alibis I investigated? Why is she lying? She got pushed. Why are you lying? I don't understand. What? Wait, what did you just say? What? I just said I was investigating. On the top four, you said. Weird. Kind of con <laughs> kind of contradictory, eh? I don't know what you're talking about. What you just said contradicts what the hostess said a while ago. What I said? You talked to the albino girl, right? You asked her where she was all this time and all that. And you said that you parted ways with albino on the top floor and waited near these stairs afterwards. But she never came down and no sign of her on the top floor. That's what you said, correct? So you're eavesdropping, you creep. It's kind of essential to the trial. Putting aside how creepy side by it is, if that is indeed true, then our dear Sora would be lying to us right now. Why is she lying? No way. So what's the deal here, Albino? So did Sora really... Wait, there must have been some mystique. There's no way that Sora's the culprit. Never said anything about her being the culprit. Where'd you get that idea? I... Well, there's one thing for sure. Albino girl went to the power room, culprit or not. And she's hiding that fact from us for some reason. So why don't we clear that up first? No, that's wrong. <laughs> what? I never lied, Sayobai. And I'm not the culprit. But that I can swear is the truth. If you really suspect me that much, then I'll personally cut down your words. This is so cool, dude. This is so cool. Okay, so it was at, like, after this, after this rebuttal showdown, I, um, I realized that my recording was corrupted. So after this, I this after this it's fresh. So let's let's just get through this. All right, man. Rebuttal showdown. Okay. Stab wounds, runes. Okay. Iroh's account. I think that's what we need. I'm gonna switch to that right away. Oh god. Oh god, no! I forgot. I forgot how to do it. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. This is up. Oh! Is that it? Dude, I won! I just won! <laughs> that was the quickest rebuttal showdown ever! What the hell? You didn't come down. Or did you mean to say that you didn't come down using the stairs? I don't get what you're trying to say. I meant that I didn't come down at all. I literally meant I stayed there investigating. And how would you explain what Bubblehead saw? What? Me? You said so, right? That albino girl fell from the top floor. Yeah, but that... Wait, hold up. What did you just say? Sora fell from up there? Well, I'm not entirely sure if it was actually Sora, but shortly after we each picked our books, I was on the first floor and I was going up. As I was going up, I saw someone falling from above. And you're saying that someone was Sora? You think this is some kind of joke? If someone actually fell from that height, we would, be, we've, we would have had a trial for two dead people right now. There's no way someone could survive that kind of fall. I know, you're right. What? Wait, so what are you trying to say? Uh, I'm being totally honest here, so please hear me out. I don't know how it happened, but she just went through the ground and disappeared. Uh, somebody bring a doctor or something. She's clearly lost her mind. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but I really did see it. I saw Sora disappear through the floor. Can you just say just now that you weren't quite sure if it was Sora? Why are you changing the story? Because I saw a lot of white. Okay. By Bubblehead's words, we can see that albino girl fell from the top floor to the power room. What? What kind of idiots do you think we are? I thought you were the smart one here. This isn't some fantasy. This is reality we're dealing with. Reality, huh? What difference does that make? I mean, technically we're not in reality right now, are we? What? How did you... Huh, did the reporter spread the news already? Well, how I knew that fact isn't the issue right now. The important thing is, as long as we're in a virtual world, what she said isn't so impossible. I'm not saying that everything here is possible just because we're in a virtual world. There are some rules and logic behind all of this. Facing through the floor and then suddenly teleporting does sound pretty unrealistic. But considering the tower's structure, the power room should be located under the first floor. And under there should be another room. The evidence to support that is the secret room we found. A secret staircase. Yeah. Dude, I love his voice, man. He pushed the wall with the cracks inside the power room. There are stairs that lead to another floor below. 
At the end of those stairs, there's a door that seemingly leads to a secret room, but it won't open. Just like the main entrance of the tower while we were trapped. So? I fail to see how that makes any difference, really. Sora did fall to the first floor and went below. Then she might have arrived at that place beneath the power room? There's a room be below the power room connected to it. That means you can enter the power room through that place. Wait, so even if there were some stairs leading down below the power room, it doesn't necessarily prove that there's a room beneath it, right? The stairs might have been there for decoration now. Like, come on, dude, are you serious? Though there is no definitive proof about that place's existence, I do have some clues supporting the phasing theory. What do you mean? I tested it myself. When I dropped the lighter from the top floor, like Bubble had said, the lighter was nowhere to be seen. What? So you mean the lighter also went through the floor and disappeared? Just like Ira has said, it happened with Sora? Are you sure about that? Maybe you just missed it. I do agree that it's a ridiculous theory, but I didn't have the time to experiment th thoroughly. Drew, though this evidence does increase the credibility of this theory. And while we actually have someone who can testify whether it's true or not, Abino should know herself if it actually happened to her. Why is she lying? What is she doing? Sora, did you really go to the power room? Why? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, it's like, come on. And even if I really did go through the floor and arrived under the power room, how would I have survived such a fall? That's if you consider the problem from a realistic point of view. Considering we're working with what if you went through the actual fucking floor, don't you think that asking about fall damage is pointless? It's virtual reality. The sky is literally limit limitless. This cannot be con called conclusive reasoning. We must calculate the case through logic and order. You're basically throwing everything out the window and saying because virtual reality. How can any of this be seen as logical reasoning? If what you said was actually true, then I doubt there's even any meaning to this trial anymore. You think I'm the one who makes these damn rules? Believe me, I don't want to do it this way any less than you do. Sure, the rules are basically non-existent, but who cares? All's well, that's, all's well that ends well, I'd say. I'm all for it, if it's the most efficient route. If I can pin down the culprit and end this class trial, who cares about how we reach the conclusion, honestly? Ugh. Even ignoring all that, I suppose my reasoning really is complete BS. And why the hell are you getting so flustered about it? Look around, albino girl. Take a look at what's become of this trial. Sora, you didn't... right? Well, there's no denying at this point that Sora is the prime suspect in this case. No, you're wrong. Shut the hell up, Mikado. How did we even arrive here? Honestly, what is happening? Wasn't this trial about Nike and Yuki suspecting each other? I told you, this case is literally about three people. Yuki Maeda, reporter, and albino girl. Yuki Yamiori and Yuki Maeda testified that they both lost their consciousness. So the only person who was awake to see the whole thing was albino. So unbeknownst to Yuki and me, Sora was related to all this? No wonder you're confused. We didn't even, we didn't even have all the info yet. Sora. Now speak. Tell me what you did in this case. Okay, that's kind of... Wow. Okay, Sayobai. Ah, <sighs> Alright. Sora, there's one thing I need to ask. Araha, you said you saw me fall from above. Is she gonna call her out? But didn't you also say you were with Yuriko this whole afternoon? What? Oh yeah, I met up with Yuriko after I saw that whole thing. Yeah, no, she knows that's a load of shit. Sora, answer me. Don't tell me you didn't- Did you really? Are you really the culprit? Sora's, like, wondering how bad she's gonna slap her for pushing her off the top of the tower. Yuriko, I'm not the culprit. The culprit is- Oh, my God. What is wrong with this girl? What? You're still on about- No, you're the culprit. There's literally no other way. What is she talking about? I'm not bluffing this either. It's because of something only I know about. So you did do something. What does she mean by that? Though we can't confirm whether she's the culprit or not. One thing's for sure, this case went through a lot of people's hands. Please explain, Sora. As you deduced, I did go to the power room, and I saw it. Shinji bleeding on the ground and Yuki running away from him. Yuki? What? What are you talking about? Yuki, you can't hide it anymore. If you don't tell us the truth, we can't proceed with this trial anymore. No way. What? Wait, so Sora and Yuki were accomplices or something? I don't believe it. You saw my crime? There must have been some mistake? What? My crime? So you did attack Shinji Kasai. I... 
Yuki, you attacked Shinji? This is the first time he spoke. See, I told you. Yuki's the one. Um, I think we might have to hear what happened from Yuki before we listen to Sora's story. Well, this is getting messy. I guess I gotta hear their stories first. Dude, what? This is insane. What is happening? This is so weird that we're playing- I, I love this. I love that we're playing a Saiyabai, but this is so weird. I saw it myself. Shinji lying on the ground, bleeding from his neck, and Yuki running away from the crime scene. See, I told you Yuki was the blacken. Why the hell would I stab Big Bro? Even the monochrome file mentioned the wound on his neck was caused by something sharp. But at the crime scene, anything sharp wasn't enough to- There wasn't anything sharp enough to use as a murder weapon. It does seem weird that Yuki would attack Shinji when they were practically brothers. I know we shouldn't put the emotion into the equation, but... With no definitive proof, I think we'll have a hard time believing Yuki's the killer. This is a problem. We'd have to settle y Yuki's story first before... Wait. Someone like Yuki Maeda is terrible at lying, and he's going to panic and make a mistake eventually. I just need to catch it when it happens. Okay, I already know what it is. It's the glass. It's the glass. Like, come on, dude. Are you serious? That is not a- that- no. That was not an argument at all. That was a horrible argument. Yuki, what? No sharp weapons, my ass. The floor was literally full of them. The floor was full of weapons? The glass. Some you're talking about the glass shards. Yeah, though I wasn't able to find the one that had blood on it due to the fire. The weapon is 100% one of those shards. But I still wouldn't have any reason to stab Big Bro. Huh, <laughs> you know what's funny? Nobody here even said that Sh Shinji Kasai was stabbed to death. The girl only said he was attacked, and the reporter said on the floor he was dead. You're the only one who's saying he was stabbed. Why is that? Damn, he caught him! What? Well, if you look at Big Bro's neck, the wound is... Sure, the neck did have a deep stab. But do you really think anyone else here other than me noticed that? What do you mean? What? Stab wound? Yuki, what are you talking about? The wound on Shinji's neck wasn't a stab wound. It was more like a cut, wasn't it? Oh, shit. What's going on? He just, he actually just cornered him. Idiots as usual. I'm not even surprised at this point. How are they not keeping up with him? I don't understand. Maybe we're just on the same wavelength. We got to wonder, is it even worth explaining to them? <laughs> Dude, this guy's insane. <laughs> I love Sayobot. Simply put, one's a cut and the other's a stab wound. As I expected, you all thought there was only a cut in his neck. But there's a stab wound beneath it at a similar angle. Judging by its state, the stab wound must have been made first. In other words, Shinji was stabbed in the throat once, and then cut once more afterwards. That's horrible. That is such a horrible way to die. Ouch. So there are two different wounds? I never knew that. Only Saibai would have known such an intricate difference between them. And yet, Yuki specifically said that he was stabbed, and nobody other than Saibai acknowledged that. Yeah. So he cornered himself. Hey, Yuki. It's time you stop avoiding this. Just tell us what you did. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, no. It's alright, Yuki. What? You're not the culprit. That much I can guarantee you, so it's time you tell them the truth. No matter what happens, I will protect you. What? Sora? What? Oh, no. Ah, uh, here comes the breakdown. I'm sorry, I should be better off dead. I've done something terrible. Did he actually kill Shinji? I stabbed Big Bro, like you said, with a glass shard on the neck. Oh my god, why would he do that? Yuki, calm down. How can he calm down? What? I know I asked you all to ignore me, but can I just say one thing? I know for a fact that a person like you wouldn't stab Shinji without a good reason. That I agree with. Just what happened between you two? The beginning is just the same as what I told you before. After Nikki said Big Bro could be the traitor, I was being cautious while investigating. When I suddenly got attacked by somebody from behind, after being ambushed, I lost consciousness. And when I came to, Nikkei was knocked down on the floor, and Big Bro was holding a gun in his hands with a scary-looking expression. Yeah, that part's the same as what I expect experienced. I was scared. I don't know what if it was what Nikkei told us, but it didn't feel like the Big Bro I knew. 
you all acted like how you all know how he acted weird lately, right? The PTSD stuff. I was so scared that I was frozen still when he immediately suddenly came right at me. I thought that Nikkei had just been killed by Big Bro. So when I thought I was going to be killed, my body reacted without thinking. I grabbed a shard of glass lying on the ground and he went straight for his neck. Ah, oh, that's horrible. Oh no. Hold on. Why did he attack Nikkei and Yuki in the first place? I still don't believe that he was the traitor. That, that, that is such BS. Shinji, no. Well, obviously he was the traitor, just, uh, just as I suspected. After being pressed on by you, oh my god. After being pressed on by me, he revealed his true colors. What? But I thought... Even as he got stabbed by me, he grabbed me and threw my body away. If I stayed still, I might have died from that. Next thing I knew, he crashed into the wall, and the ceiling came, had come down. And the ceiling and the wall had come down. Big Bro was buried under the, the debris while bleeding out. But everything, when everything was over, the horrible realization came over me. That I had killed someone. Dude, this is... I care what you're saying, but there's no reason to be that hard in your... He's about to die! What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, then it was more like it was an accident than murder. But the rules of the killing school trip never consider the context of things. Yeah, they're horrible. They're harsh rules. If there's a dead body, someone has to pay the price. By your logic, Hibiki's case was an accident, as well as she was only used by Kanade. She really was. Hibiki didn't do anything. I know that. Don't you talk back to me. Yuki, what happened next? What do you mean, what happened next? My mind went blank. And all that I thought to myself was that I needed to get away from that place. Far away. You didn't get rid of the evidence? Yes. Yeah, hostess said it was more of an accident than a murder. That's why Yuki Maeda ran away on the spot without doing anything. An albino girl witnessed Yuki Maeda running away. Sounds like everything is starting to come together. You're right. I guess this is the end for me. I'm sorry for lying. Even if it was an accident when I killed Big Bro, it was actually... I just wanted to live. Yuki, it's not over yet. You're not the culprit. What do you mean? I stabbed Big Bro. What is she saying? The feeling of sharp glass plunging into his flesh is still haunting me. The culprit... If she says this one more time, I swear. The culprit is Nikkei. Sorry, you've been at it constantly saying that I'm the culprit. You trying to pick a fight with me? You're gonna to keep tolerating your shit. <laughs> I love DK, dude. You think I'm gonna keep tolerating your shit? I feel like I need to apologize to you in advance. What for? Now that Yuki has come clean, it's my turn. After I went up to the power room and witnessed Yuki running away from the crime scene, the first thought that came to me was was that I couldn't just let Yuki be the black one. What? I don't know why, maybe it was from witnessing my friend committing word murder. Or maybe it was something else. But I wasn't ready to let Yuki down just yet. You just cut to the conclusion, you're really dragging things out, so what did you do? I want you to first understand at the time, I didn't comprehend what- I didn't fully comprehend what had happened. All I knew was that Yuki definitely stabbed Shinji and Nikkei was knocked out cold. I tried to be calm and walk up to Shinji when I noticed something. At that moment, Shinji was alive and still breathing. Wow. How? He was alive after getting stabbed in the throat? He must have been almost dead then. Is that... Is that really the truth? Maybe it wasn't a direct hit, I don't know for sure. But he was still alive, probably for only a few minutes more. I first thought of healing him, but it wasn't like I had any medical experience. If Shinji died while doing so, Yuki would be the black end for his death. So I decided to take action. What did she do? What did you do? I decided to protect Yuki. That does not explain anything. I decided to not make him the co- Sora, you didn't- Yes. I delivered the finishing blow. The large cut on the neck was caused by me? What are you doing? What? Okay, wait, no, no. 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 Sora, are you crazy? If you did that, you would be... Why? Why would you do such a thing for someone like me? Perhaps I had a better option. But at that time, this was the only option I could think of. It was like I was getting wet on by some strange memory. Wait, did that make Sora the culprit? Yeah, what the hell? But it doesn't end there. What do you mean it doesn't end there? You'll probably all despise me from this for this, but I'll tell you all the truth. Sora? 
I think the fact that I went to the power room, insisting on Dinks without any evidence to back it up. I apologize for everything, but I just couldn't bring myself to tell the truth. But I must all tell you the truth. The truth about the horrible sin I've committed. What did she do? Even as I was thinking of something to do as... Even uh, as I was thinking to do something as despicable as ending Shinji's life, I still valued my life. My body was trying to save Yuki while in my head I still didn't want to die. So I used someone else's hand instead? She- No! No! What do you mean? Well, I did cut Shinji's throat. I didn't do it myself, but I used the hands of somebody else's to do it. She used Nikkei's hand. You... Oh my god. How is this amazing? What do you mean amazing? I never would have expected such a result. If Albino Girl was sunk the truth, then we have her culprit. That culprit's identity is... Dude, are you kidding? What is this? <laughs> oh no, I don't want to pick him! I don't want to pick him! Um... I'M SO MAD AT YOU! OH MY GOD! So oh my god... Uh, there was only one other person there at the crime scene. Nikkei Yamiuri, Albino Girl used your unconscious hand instead. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not sorry. I feel so bad for him. Oh, no. No fucking way. My words exactly. Oh my god, dude. Oh my fucking god. Sora has went down the tier list. Why was the, What was the first thought that came to me? Shock, horror, fear, or rage. These feelings could be considered the normal reaction. The entire situation was completely surreal to me after all. When I look back, however, the first emotion I felt was... Ah. Why was I in such awe as I watched it happen? What did I feel? Why did I feel awe from witnessing Yuki almost kill Shinji? Perhaps it was because of that awe I did such a thing. If I just let things be like this, then he would become the blackened, and there would be a class trial and he would be executed. And I cannot let that happen. I should be the one to protect him. Does she have like a crush on him or something? What? I tell myself, I try to ignore and resist it, but that voice rang inside me, as clear, clear as clear can be. The voice of a demon hiding somewhere deep within me. What? I gripped the glass shard using Nikkei's unconscious hand and cut Shinji's throat. Right then and there. Dude. This poor guy, dude! Does that mean... Nikkei's the blackened? So that was why Sora was so insistent on Nikkei being the culprit. Yeah, and only she knew this. Even Nikkei Yamiori himself didn't know that he was the culprit. But to tell what happened would be to announce the sin that she committed. So she hesitated on it, as you would, as you would expect from her. Don't... Don't you fuck with me! What the hell did you do with my treasured hand? Nikkei, why don't we Are you serious? Calm down? Calm down? How can anyone calm down from this? Even I would be bewildered by this turn of events if I was the one experiencing it. To be the culprit without even knowing it. This doesn't count. This class trial shouldn't count. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not how this game works. I did literally nothing. Sora's obviously the culprit here. I have nothing to say. Yeah, you better not say anything. I'm just so sorry. You think sorry's gonna solve my problem? If I turn out to be the black and I'm going to die right now. But I thought you said that dying here doesn't mean you would die for real. If this is the real world, I would have never tried such a thing. I know that's a petty excuse, but after this is all over, I'll make it up in any way possible. So please. But this is going way too far! Didn't I also tell you that we didn't know what could happen to our bodies even if we die? 
You're basically telling me to endure whatever's going to happen to me, as long as it's not death? That's not what I meant. There's, there's nothing she can do at this point. If you knew so well that you weren't really gonna die from this, then why didn't you sacrifice yourself? Or did you really want to continue this killing school trip that badly? I betrayed the voids and helped you out, and did all that, and you act like this, you little... I might have to break this moment, but... Is there any reason to continue the trial anymore? She has a point. Honestly, this might be the, the best thing Ira has said. What? Or not the best, but the most realistic thing she said. Well, if Sora is telling the truth, then Nikkei is the culprit, right? There was no reason in her puzzle solving or whatever, but yeah, we do have a culprit based on her results. Why don't we just end it here? I don't want to be in this place anymore. Wow, you're an asshole. Holy crap. Besides, Nikkei was originally the one to... Uh, what? What? Wait, hold on. Why are we even believing her in the first place? Forget logic. Why are we believing this I killed Shinji using Mr. Nikkei's hands BS? She could have just made it up on the spot. I get why you're unwilling to believe it, but believe it or not, her story does have some ground. It matched with Yuki Maeda's confession earlier, not to mention with the statements the others had made. But even so, Saibai said it well, so why don't we vote? Stop being a dick! Oh my god. Wait guys, just one thing, I'm not trying to cover up for Nikkei or anything, but... Nikkei didn't have any intent to murder, according to Sora, right? What? Oh, that's true. That's one of the rules. I was just unsure if using someone else... If someone else using Nikkei, who was unconscious to murder Shinji, would really count as Nikkei being the culprit. What? I don't understand. Yeah, because you're dumb. Good call, hostess girl. The girl's got a point. I also believe it's too early to decide who's the culprit. Nikki Yamiori can be considered a murder method, then we'd have Albino Girl as our culprit instead. Nikki is the murder weapon? Care to explain? Whether Nikki Yamiori can, could be dis considered Albino Girl's murder weapon or not, I meant it literally. Wow. So Nikki himself was the murder weapon? That is impossible. How can one consider a human being as a weapon? Well, Pekka would like to have a word with you. <laughs> Have you asked Monokuro to confirm that? What? Did you ask Monokuro if Niki Yamiuri was decided as the culprit of this case? He's not going to answer that. In the case of Kanade, she asked in advance of, about if her murder could be considered a double black and murder, was to avoid any messy confusion afterwards. I mean, you should have known by now that there are no 100% positives in class trials. I didn't think that far ahead. See? Even she's unsure of it. Wait. I don't know if Nikki could be considered a weapon or not, but if we do consider it to be that way, does that mean... Yep, Albino Girl would be the culprit to kill Shinji Kasai using her murder weapon of choice, Nikki. Wow. Okay. I see, so this is a matter of deciding who's the culprit between Sora and Nikki. Let's applaud Yuriko, who gave this crucial insight on the case. You might even let Nikki live another day. Wait, me? But that would mean... Sora... Well, obviously, Sora's the culprit. A murder has to include the intent to cause harm by the murderer? But even if she's the culprit, she did it to save me. That doesn't matter. So now what? Forget why or how. We can't even decide on who'd done it? This is- this is a mess. This is- this is horrible. How could this happen to me? There's no way- Are you serious? You- You did something horrible! How could you a human being be considered a weapon, even if he was unconscious? But if it's possible, then that- what would happen to me? You would die. Oh my god, dude. This is a ridiculous trial. Oh my god. Alright. Sayabai, Sora, and Yuki. Everyone else, everyone else is on the other side. Nikkei Yamiori be considered a weapon. He can be a weapon. He's not a weapon. Scrum debate start. Dude, what is happening? Sora used my hand as an object with no murderous intent to commit a crime. She used my hand as a weapon. Weapons by definition should only be objects. So do you consider yourself a tool, Nikkei? Damn. I'm sorry, Sora, but you're clearly the one at fault here. Sora's the culprit. Sora's not at fault. Technically speaking, I should be the culprit. She did it to protect me. 
I myself am not quite sure how the rules consider the culprit's intent. Nike certainly had no intent to kill. I think if Hibiki had the intent to kill, you can't just go and pretend that didn't happen. That is that is a valid point. There's a phrase called a human weapon for a reason, you know. That weapon in this cert Wait, why am I even participating in this? Can he just shut up for Oh my god! If Nike was conscious even a little bit, it may be considered his crime. Whether or not Nike was conscious doesn't matter. If his hand was it was his hand that did it, not mine. Sora is really being an asshole right now. Even if before we discussed the matter of weapons, you don't have any evidence. Our accounts match with each other. Conviction strong enough can be presented as evidence. This is rough. This is rough. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't know who to side with. I really don't. All these characters did some really horrible things. And not all of them, but just Sora. Sora in general. She did something horrible. Yuki did something horrible. Nikki did nothing wrong, literally. God, dude, he is pissed off. Are you seeing his face? Oh my god. So how long are we gonna continue this? We're just going in circles if we continue like this. Yo, Sora, why are you so dense set on peeing against me? I thought they were friends. He thought that it was okay for me to die here and be safe in the real world. Why didn't you apply that same thought process to you? Or is it the old, if I do it, it's right, but it's wrong if it's you? So are you scared now that your body's on the line? Oh my god. I cannot leave this world yet. There's still something I have to do. So you're just gonna let him die instead? Um, is there a way we can confirm who's technically the one that did it? Alright then, let's not waste any more time and ask someone who's sure to who knows who's done it. Someone who's sure to know the truth? The guy I talked about just a minute ago. Monocro, you listen? Huh? You can't, he's not gonna answer. You should know whether or not Nika Yamiori's hand could be considered a weapon. Why aren't you saying anything? Sorry, buddy. You know I cannot answer that question. Yeah, what? He's not gonna answer. To answer that question would answer who's the culprit between Sora and Nika. Is that how it works? I thought we were just gonna ask if Nika could be. That would ultimately answer the question. That ultimately decides who's the culprit, yeah. So we're basically asking for the answer. Of course he wouldn't answer back. I was hoping it was worth a shot since you went haywire a while ago. <laughs> so you're still bound by those rules? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Now, this is quite the troublesome situation we're in. We have to decide for it ourselves if Monocro doesn't outright tell us. Uh, hold on a minute. What? Saiba? Let's go over everything again. A bino reporter in Yuki Maeda. You three should talk about what you each heard and did in the case. What? We already did that. Yuki, why don't we stop complaining and do what he says just once? Maybe he has an idea or something. I agree. We're all going after each other by saying it's your fault. But this isn't the time to be emotion for emotional drama between us. Let's just save what we have to say about each other for now and logically think this through once more. It's not like there's anything more to say about this case, though. As I said before, I was kidnapped by someone, and when I woke up, Nike was unconscious and Big Bro attacked me. Frightened to death, I grabbed the glass shard in the ground and stabbed Big Bro on the neck. Then I ran away and pretended like I knew nothing. Same for me. I called Shinji out and was talking to him when he suddenly knocked me out. When I woke up, Shinji had bled out, dead, and I ran away from the scene. As I told you before, I went up to the power room, through the secret passageway below, through the secret passageway below, and I witnessed Yuki running away from the crime scene. And to save him from being executed, I grabbed the glass shard using Nikkei's hand. Uh, Although I still don't know what made me do that. It seems like this is just a recalling of what they said before. And you're sure that you said every last detail? Of course! I mean, every one of us has been exposed already, so there's basically no point in lying. Then we have a problem. Who was the one that caused the fire? Huh? Oh yeah, the fire! Let's go over the facts. The power room was on fire, there's no doubt about that. According to our alibis, the only people that entered the power room are Abino, Nike, and Yuki Maeda. Now, let's assume that all of you are telling the truth. Where the hell did the fire come from? You're right, what happened? Are you acting a bit too surprised, Saibai? Saibai mentioned the fire once before in this trial. Yeah, it was glossed over once every single one of you little shit started exposing each other. Now that you three have told the actual truth, now we need to readdress this problem. But why is the fire important? The Blacken's bound to be either Sora or Nike, regardless of the fire. 
no, you may have not realized this with your barely functioning brain, <laughs> but Sayobai is basically implying that one of the three who visited the power room may be lying. Yeah, if there's a likelihood of any party falsely falsifying their statement, we need to dig to every last detail until we're sure we got everything right. I see, so who caused the fire then? I know nothing. I told you everything I know. Same here. Fire at the power room, even I don't know about that. Let's take this through step by step. I might be able to find something now. Thank God you guys told me to get Sayobai's ability, because now I can actually do this. Please. Oh my god, it's so much better. Thank you guys so much. I can actually do this now. It's not horrible. There's no horrible controls anymore. Oh my god, this is so smooth. I love this. Oh, I can actually play the game. This is incredible. This is actually incredible. Oh no. Oh, how did I not get hit? Oh, I got hit. Okay, yeah. Damn. Dude, thank you guys so much. Oh my god. Question one. In what order did the prime three suspects enter the power room? It was... Nike, Yuki, and then Sora. It was Nike, Yuki, and then Sora, yeah. What?! How is that?! Are you serious?! Okay, in what order did they... Did the pro oh, leave the power room! Okay. Okay, I thought it said enter! My bad. I, I did that completely wrong. I, I just... Miss... Wow. That's why I was so confused. I'm like, I'm pretty sure they entered in that order. Wow. Alright. Who was left inside the power room after Nika Yamiori left the power room? Who was left inside? Uh, Shinji. Yeah, what? What? How is this with Shinji? Yeah, what? Why did they think I was going to answer the other ones? Shinji, it only makes sense Shinji was the last one there. Or was still in there. Question three, if the fire caught on when Shinji was dead, what are the possibilities? Shinji Kasai was still alive? What? He was alive after getting stabbed twice. There's no way. What? Okay, so when you left the power room, the fire wasn't there, right? So many times do I have to repeat myself? Yes, there was no fire. I thought it was somehow functioning from the damaged machines that caused the fire. It means if someone did cause a fire, then it would be Nikkei after... It would be after Nikkei left the power room. Does that mean that someone else entered the power room once Nikkei left? That's impossible. Everyone excluding Sora, Yuki, and Nikkei should all have sound alibis. And we're back to discussing, deciding between Sora, Yuki, and Nikkei again. No. We told you, we don't know. But then it doesn't make sense. There's no one else who could have caused the fire. It's exactly as, someone, as Ira has said. There's no one among us right here right now that could have caused that fire. What are you trying to suggest, Sora? I'm saying that I might have an idea on who actually caused the fire. Let me cut straight to the chase. We don't need to consider the possibility of someone else entering the power room after Nikkei left. Because there was one other person in the power room. That's Shinji. What? Sora, what do you mean? Shinji was dead at that point. But what if he wasn't? Sora, Sora, you're amazing. <laughs> what if he wasn't? <laughs> if he was still alive and he had caused that fire, then everything we said up until this point makes sense. Sora, are you hearing yourself? Didn't you just say yourself that you delivered the finishing blow to Shinji? You're the last person I expected to say that. Yeah, not to mention that it was his second fatal blow that he received on the same spot, mind you. How could anyone be alive through getting stabbed and cut in the throat? You can. What? What do you mean you can? What? Normally anyone would die, but there are cases where someone suffers that and still survives for more than 30 minutes. Trust me on this. 30 minutes of not breathing? Are you sure? What is with you, Mr. Nobody? And you sound like you actually saw someone pull that off. Well, uh... Oh, oh. Are you alright, Teria? Let's just ignore him and return to the topic at hand. So, are you saying that Shinji was still alive after all that? That makes no sense. Show me anyone who can see that who can stay alive after one minute with a bloody torn apart neck. Even I think I'm going a bit too far. After all, I'm the one who actually cut the throat with Nikkei's hands. Yeah, obviously. Kind of funny that the one who actually did it would suggest such a thing. See? Even you're not sure of the whole thing. And whether Shinji caused the fire or not, he's dead now. 
Why should we care that a dead per what a dead person did before they passed away? We need to decide the culprit among the living right now. Wait, reporter, what did you just say? What? I was just saying that we should be talking about something else. Not that. The part about the culprit not being one of us? Yeah, you said that the culprit was among the living. Let's break that thought and think of it this way. Do you have to be alive to become a culprit? Oh, he's right. What does that mean? Shut up. If Shinji... <laughs> Dude, this guy is amazing. If Shinji Kasai caused the fire, the only ones who were in the power room, the alibis... Huh, I got it. We didn't even need to discuss Nikkei Yamiori's hand being the weapon after all. Neither of you are the culprit. Then are you saying the, who the culprit is? Is it Yuki? Not him either. Well, technically speaking, there is no murder in this case. What? Saiba, you aren't thinking what I'm thinking, are you? Yep, Shinji was killed by none other but, none other but than Shinji Kasai himself? What? How is that possible? In other words, it was a suicide. What? Yeah, same. What? Jeez, are you trying to blow our ears out? Wait, what? So it's a suicide? What do you mean? But suicide isn't a murder. Does that mean that this class trial was canceled? <laughs> no, suicide is still taking someone's life, so it doesn't go against the rules as killing someone. You gotta be kidding me. Saibai, are you crazy or something? How can you go from saying that Shinji Kasai caused the fire to saying that he kill killed himself? Why the hell would he do something like that anyways? Huh. Like, I even care about why the bead frame committed suicide. This came up with it based on the evidence. Evidence? So you're saying there's evidence that Big Bro killed himself? Of course there isn't any evidence like that. This isn't a problem whether or not you have the evidence. Sorry, you said that you killed Shinji using my hands. And Shinji was obviously dead from that point onward, right? Shinji... I, something did feel strange about this case while we were talking about the fire. Also, I'm sorry for saying that. I did not mean to say that. But even I didn't think that far. But Saibai must have realized something. We should talk about this once more. I don't even know what to expect anymore, dude. Shinji? What? How? Nikkei is not having it, dude. Shinji Kasai. Yep. Possible. He must have died from getting his throat cut. But if we assume that, then there is no other way to explain the fire. As long as us three are in the position of plausible deniability towards the fire, Shinji being still alive and causing the fire is our most logical explanation. Wait, even if Shinji was alive? I don't get how we can get there from Shinji suddenly. I mean, Shinji, after trying to attack us, doesn't make any sense in the first place. It's not like we have proof of it anyways. Okay, I think, I think I know what I need to shoot at. That is indeed true, but then we're left with too many contradictions. I know what it is. I think I know what it is. So have I heard my remarks about the possibility of, uh, yeah, he must know something. And there must be traces of something somewhere. I must, I just gotta find it. Wow, I got that wrong. Okay. Uh, yeah. That that was bad. I thought that was right. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I thought it was broken machines. DK, if you want evidence, then I've got some. Shinji's body actually had a lot more wounds than just the ones on the neck. Ones other than the ones on the neck? Those were from the fire, right? No, that's what I thought earlier. But there are a lot of scratches on his body. Well, color me impressed. To think that someone other than me would notice those amongst all the burn marks. Scratches? There were scratches? When I cut Shinji's throat, there were no wounds other than the ones on his neck. Just asking this to be sure. But, Nikkei, did you make those? Of course not. Considering he was still alive, if I did, then that would be... He would have most likely become the culprit. Correct. The last person to harm the victim becomes the culprit. You haven't forgotten that, have you? Wait, so... Is that it? Even after getting fetal injuries by me and Sora, Big Bro was still alive. Then he hurt himself, so by those rules, he becomes the culprit? That's insane! Dude! Shinji is insane! Doesn't feel right, though. People usually don't die from those scratches. 
Even if you create those wounds yourself, they aren't critical enough to kill you. So his death would have come from his neck wound anyways. Easy there. Recall that the monochrome file didn't report, report the cause of death in this case. Whether or not the cause of death is recorded on the monochrome file itself is a very important clue. Just like the time of death last trial. If this case ended with the albino girl cutting his throat, then there would, have, there would be no reason to hide the cause of death. But because the cause of death was missing, that means there was a need to hide it in accordance with the culprit's intent. But as DK said, saying that the cause of death was those scratches does sound a bit off. No, the cause of death would have been from suffocation, for inhaling too much carbon monoxide caused by the fire. Caused by the fire? Well, I guess that- Dude, what?! I guess that's what we thought when he first found the body, but I thought he was burned, not suffocated to death. If he was burned to death, then there would there should have been more time till the body discovery announcement. Simply put, it takes too long for a human being to burn to death. Correct. It's common knowledge that humans die more easily from suffocation than from incineration in a fire. I can guarantee that that is the truth as the flame wizard myself. Normally, you would be able to see distinct marks on the face if somebody died from inhaling excess carbon dioxide. But he was burnt to the point where the face wasn't was unrecognizable. So, so we aren't 100% sure. And how can we? How can you be so sure that he died from suffocation? Because that's the only way. The only way he could have ended his life. It's the only way he could have ended his life as fast as possible. Probably died trying to hurt himself first by crashing his body into stuff. But he soon realized that that wasn't gonna cut it. Call it luck or luck or whatever. But he actually caused a fire doing so. So then he probably decided to end himself that way. There's proof to suggest this happened, actually, it was all over the power room. Proof that Shinji tried to hurt himself. Just a side by side that we're tra- Yeah, it's the, the walls. Or the broken- Considering the relation between the fire and scratches, Shinji must have bashed his body against the power room's machines to hurt himself. Most of the machines inside the power room were badly damaged. Not to mention there are traces of blood on them. Some of the sides of Shinji crashed into those machines with full force. I assume it would be enough to break them and cause a fire. Hold on, now we're getting evidence left and right here. To be honest, I was half sure at first. But now it really feels like Shinji was alive at that point. Aw, oh, man. I see. Sora, Yuki, and Nikkei said they didn't know about the fire, and all the others have alibis, so they didn't even enter the power room in the first place. But if Shinji was still alive and some act to end, and did some act to end his own life, this all makes sense. What a remarkable conclusion that explains everything. Even someone as brain dead as Iroha could understand this. <laughs> Don't call me brain dead. In a sense, this trial only took longer because the three of you were stubborn and kept saying your own thing. I should have I should have interfered from the start, and we wasted so much time. I guess even Yuki and I weren't rational enough to check if Shinji was actually dead or not. That was why we never even thought about Shinji being alive and soon killing himself. I said it again. I'm so sorry. I I need to I need to be more considerate. I'm sorry, guys. No way. So it was Shinji all along. There are still some things I don't get. But if Shinji really did do that, and Sora and Nikkei both aren't culprits, nobody here has to die. I don't care if the culprit's dead, then nobody has to die, right? If the culprit really did, then yes. I'm not pulling apart dead bodies or that kind of. Not into pulling. Yeah. You heard him, Sora. I don't know why you did such a thing, but you... That doesn't mean I'm going to forgive her. You realize what kind of despicable act you've done? Honestly, what? If we both survived from this. I'm not going to get over that matter easily. I'm sorry. Of course I'll pay my price. Do anything... I'll do anything you want. Not really the happy closure I wanted, but this is over, right? Then let's vote for the... Wait. What? Wait for what? Big bro... Sure, we might have evidence. But why? He tried to kill me and attack Nika. Why would someone like that suddenly decide to do that? He basically threatened two lives and then saved three lives. I just don't understand. That's not the issue here. The issue is getting the culprit right. No, this is a class trial. This should be an important matter, no doubt. If there's a reason for doubt, then we should discuss it. I mean, you guys don't... Don't you guys feel like it's weird? Why would he suddenly do that? What if we're missing something? Looking at the evidence, Shinji must have done that, that's for sure. By ending the class trial here and now, all three of us would survive. We've been through a lot, but that would be the best outcome we could get results-wise. But should we be fine with it? Yuki has a point. With Saibai's help and a bit of reasoning, we were able to deduce that Shinji did that. But we've only reached the conclusion. We still don't know the whole story. 
Did Shinji really do that? And if he did, then for what reason? Um, I don't think anyone wants to talk. Yeah, why isn't anyone speaking? Does anyone know how why Shinji did that? No one knows. Saibai, Saibai, you know something, right? Dude, can't you solve anything by yourselves, you incompetent idiots? For real! You think I'm one of those futuristic cat-like robots that grants wish wishes or something? You don't have to know all that to deduce that this case was caused by Shinji Kasai. Every alibi fit, the plot was well scripted, and the case is sealed. Don't you get it? Also, that ends well. Who gives a shit about why he did it? So you should all vote and get the hell out of here. Every alibi fit. The plot being scripted? Wait, something's up. Uh, okay, I never thought we'd get help from Mikado. Sora, I see that you're pondering something. You see, I've been wondering about something as well. Don't you hate it when you know something's up, but you don't know what that something is? How about we share about... How about we share just what has been bugging us? Dude, I never thought Mikado would help us, ever, in my life. Um... I thought about this, and I don't know... I don't think Shinji would do that for no reason. If Shinji really suddenly decided to do that, then something must have happened to him in the power room. Uh, I could not read that. Um, you are going too fast, bro. I cannot read these. Don't you think so too, Sora? I don't- I don't even know what he said. Um... The only thing we haven't talked about here is the burnt stun gun. Nice! Dude, Sora looks so unsure of, like, whether she should agree with Mikado or not. <laughs> I love that. That reminds me. Didn't Yuki see that he was kidnapped by someone? Does anyone know who that someone could be? What are you talking about, Sora? What does that have to do with the reason Shinji did that? There was a burnt stun gun lying around on the crime scene. You told me that the black that you suddenly blacked out, right? Yuki, perhaps he was attacked by someone using that stun gun. A stun gun? I think I did feel a jolt or something like that. But why bring that up? I may feel like something's off if Shinji really is the culprit and he did that. Why was Yuki kidnapped and by who? Huh? Even I didn't think that one through. I guess I was too focused on the culprit's identity. Well, it's Shinji, obviously. According to our line of reasoning, there only has to, there, the only one, the only one to have a hostile intent against your group was Shinji. You said that when you called Shinji over to the power room, you found Yuki there, right? Shinji was the one who ambushed Yuki, then it would have been before he met up with Mika. Maybe that's a bit weird. Why would you kidnap someone only to meet up with someone else right after? It is a bit weird. Yeah, that does not make sense. I don't know. No offense, but he might have just been, you know, a bit crazy in the head. We're going by Nikkei's words that Shinji was helping Void behind our backs. He would try to kill Yuki and Nikkei. Even if he did do that. Maybe he was just one of those people who put up a front around us, but he was acting crazy behind our backs. That is definitely not who he was. See that in Shinji's image has fallen way off a cliff, honestly. I'm just saying that this I'm just saying this under the assumption that Shinji was behind all this. Didn't intend to mock the dead, even if they were the bad guy. Going by Nikkei's words? Wait. What what about it? Sora? What? Nikkei, there's one thing I need to clear up with you. When you gather us in that meeting room to tell us that Shinji might be the traitor. Yeah, what about it? Where were you? And what were you doing after that meeting? Sora, what's the matter? Wait, what? Yuriko, please don't interrupt us for a moment. This is a very important matter we're dealing with. What do you mean I went straight to talk with Shinji? After calling him out to the power room? Yeah. Um, I don't have a good feeling about this, but why the power room? Why call Shinji over to such a creepy dark place? As I mentioned before, even I didn't know well enough about the identity of a person working for Void. I just didn't want unwanted people from entering or hearing our business, that's all. I found that a bit- I found that a bit suspicious, Nike. You really did believe Shinji was the traitor. Shouldn't you have acted a bit more with caution? What are you trying to pull here? You better have a good reason for picking apart everything I say. I mean, doesn't everyone agree on this? If Shinji really was a dangerous threat, then Nike basically walked straight into the tiger's den, alone willingly. Come to think of it, you're right. Why didn't I notice that? Nike. Why would you do something so risky? What? I'm not following. Isn't it too obvious? He's the mastermind behind this case. 
That's why? What? Wait, Saibai, I thought you said that you wouldn't interfere with this matter. You know what's the most annoying thing about this trial? That it won't fucking end. <laughs> I can't end it on my- <laughs> I love Saibai, dude. I can't end it on my own. I have to wait for you idiots. You idiots aren't satisfied with just the culprit's identity and want to know the whole picture. And I figured I should just join in and get this over with quickly. Wait, so Sora, you're agreeing with Saibai that Nikkei was the mastermind of this case? I'd say it's still based on instinct. But considering Saibai's on my side, there seems to be some logical ground behind all this. Of course there is. I'm genuinely surprised that you fools haven't realized it yet. What? You should have told us sooner if you realized the truth. What for? Why the hell do I have to care about what Nikkei Yamiori schemed under your, noted, under your noses? All I gotta do is vote for Shinji, and bam, the trial is over. It's like a bonus stage, a complete waste of time that doesn't contribute to anything. It doesn't contribute anything to my progress. You're still going to help us, right? Huh? Help? Yeah, that might be the word for it. <laughs> Honestly, you don't even have to think too deep about this. The one who kidnapped Yuki Maeda and the one who framed Shinji was all done by that reporter over there. Is that true? Framed? Wait, does that mean... Nikkei, you're, you're not going to say all that stuff you told me was a lie, are you? I did all that because I believed in your words. What? Terry? If there was any ill intent in all this, I will never forgive you. Answer me, Nikkei. What, what are they talking- Yeah, what are they talking about? What? Nikkei? Huh, you all got some fucked up sense of humor. Me? The mastermind of this case? I'm a victim here for crying out loud, you little... Look, I'm trying my best here to fuck over Mikado. You don't believe me? The hell? Answer the question, Nikkei. Were you the one who ambushed me? And what do you mean, framing Big Bro? Tell us the truth. Let's not do this, guys. We've all taken the easy way out. As if I haven't gotten enough shit to deal with. If you guys don't believe me, then I can't trust you back. What is happening? Nikkei, I know that I should I should be ripped to shreds to what I for what I did to you. We're going as far to, to suspect you. I imagine that you're angry and upset. You have every right to be. That's exactly why I need you to sincerely answer us. If you're truly innocent, then I might have sinned again against you. But even so, this is something we can't look over. Shut up! You think you have any right to suspect me, you dirty rat? <laughs> I the girl's not worthy, eh? Then how about I take over a little doozy? The fact that the stun gun found on the scene of the crime was burnt means that it was there before the fire had happened. Thus, the person who had the stun gun has to have visited the power room before the crime scene had happened. I'd be Sora, Yuki, and Nike, right? Correct. The stun gun was probably used immediately after the meeting. Hey, fact check this for me. You said you were attacked shortly after leaving the meeting room? Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. Sora and Yuki were there in that break room as well. And Sora also went to the power room, so she shouldn't- so shouldn't she be a suspect as well? Okay. I'm not- I'm not liking where this is going at all. No, Sora has an alibi. So talk to me on the top floor after leaving the meeting room. You remember that, don't you, Sora? Huh? What do you mean, huh? You met up with me, remember? We were talking about your alibi here. I mean, I still don't get the stuff you did this case, but whatever happened, happened. Right now, you should focus on the trial. Yeah, she's right. I had a conversation with her shortly after leaving the meeting room. Yeah, excluding Yuki Maeda himself, Albino Girl has an alibi. So by process of elimination, the only one capable of using that stun gun on Yuki is Nuzi. That may be true if we look at her alibis, but Sora's in a much more suspicious position if we look at the bigger picture. She used some witchcraft to go through the floor and end up below the power room. How do you explain that? Well... She might have used some other trick to kidnap Yuki and brought him to the power room. That is a much more plausible explanation, I'd say. Well, Sora, try disproving that. I can't tell you the attack details about what happened then. But I, I fell... How I fell from the top floor and ended there was has nothing to do with the case? Please trust me on this. What do you mean it has nothing to do with the case? See? She's hiding something. And trust? That's fucking hilarious. You think we cared about trust when we sent Hajime, Emma, and the twins to hell? This bitch dirtied my hand just because she was too scared to take the shot herself. You guys... Oh my god. You guys say you can't trust me, but you believe her? Spreading fake news even inside of the trial? Hey, Newsy, shut the fuck up. They all got alibis. 
Maybe you should stop worrying about your hands being dirty and worry about your ears. Oh my god, he just roasted the hell out of him. If Normie Boy got kidnapped right after leaving the break room, how the hell can Albino Girl achieve that while talking with the hostess? But that doesn't prove that I had the stun gun. You suspect, and you're suspecting me just based on the process of elimination? Of course, that's not all there is to it. You said you got attacked by Shinji to sign the power room? Yeah, that's bullshit. Now that's comedy if I've ever seen it. A Saibai, even Sora and Yuki stated that he was Nikkei was unconscious. And Sora even went as far as to use Nikkei's hands. He would have realized what was going on if he was just pretending. Who said that he was pretending? Of course he was out cold for real. Then why? He actually fainted to root. Oh, he used it on himself! He was actually carrying the stun gun, then he would have been able to use it on himself to knock himself out. Yeah. Dude, that's insane. What? You say I used a stun gun on myself? You're one to talk about fake news. We got a we got a newbie fantasy writer over here. Faker? Or fake? Then why don't you explain what happened? What did Shinji Kasai use to knock you out? I don't know. You just kind of tackled me suddenly. You got knocked out from getting tackled. Then it was either because of the impulse, you, because the impulse you received was massive, or he hit your vital point. That kind of injury is sure to leave a mark somewhere on your body. So come here and get naked. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. Okay. Okay. Nike did look somewhat awkward now that I think about it. Miss all the debris and chaos in that crime scene. Looked unusually unharmed lying down. You're right. I only caught a glimpse, but there was no sign of injury or struggle on Nike. Hold on. That means that when he said that it all started when Shinji attacked him, that brat lied about everything from the start? Are you serious? That's not all. If Shinji Kasai attacked, didn't attack Nike Yamiori, that means he didn't have any reason to. No reason to attack? That implies... It was all a lie. The talk about a traitor, Big Bro being suspicious, everything. I told you that news he framed Shinji Kasai. I don't know his objective, but his goal is probably to cause a fire between Yuki Maeda and Shinji Kasai from the start. Nike, you little... Are you serious? Why? Why, dude? Why? Why? I liked him! Are you kidding me? What? I don't know a single thing you're talking about. Okay, come on. Don't play dumb, you little bastard. So don't know, don't care. You got any proof? And I'm not talking about some loose conviction you got against me. If you've got proof, you can always fabricate the truth. That's how it works with the scoop. Create the most horrifying rumors about the kindest people. You can make political giants fight each other over a simple lie. That's how easy it is, man. <laughs> Nike, so are those renowned articles that you've been... Are those the renowned articles that you've been putting up? So what? If you've got nothing to back your words up, every lie has a potential to become the absolute truth. That's how society works. So let me see some evidence that I caused everything. Is this really Nike? Is this the Nike we knew all along? He was a void, but he put his trust on us by betraying the voids. I've done something horrible to him. Perhaps I don't have the right to condemn him. But, but even so, he must. Oh my god, he's, um, what's his name? I forgot his name. I completely forgot his name. This is probably the hardest one, like, actually. Dude, oh my god. Okay, holy crap. Okay. Uh, the, the missing gun? What? Oh my god, bro, I don't need to see that. Oh my god. Okay, I wanted to say that. Uh, they made him Hermes, the messenger god. That's really cool, I like that. I just had a thought. Shinji really did intend on attacking Nike or Yuki. Why, wouldn't he have used his gun? Oh my god! The gun! You're right, I completely forgot we gave him the gun! And we even all agreed on it! Correct, if he really was a threat to us, we basically had armed our worst enemy. But why did you bring that up? Because it's important! What do you mean, why did she bring that up? Think about it. If what Nike says is true and Shinji was the traitor, why didn't he use the gun to attack Nike? Honestly. Dude. I see, he had a gun, the most horrifying weapon in human history. Yet he used his body to attack Nike. Quite strange indeed. 
You guys stupid? If he shot the gun, I would have immediately died. Then everyone would know who the killer was. You think you, if you, you think you'd shoot if you knew you were gonna die in front of him as well? Shinji isn't stupid. Wait, he was stupid, but he wasn't that dumb. How? Hey, albino, step aside. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> oh my god, this hurts. This hurts. Nikki Yamiori, you knew very well that there was no gun on Shinji Kasai's corpse. It's very unlikely that he left something as important as a gun lying around. Which means that someone must have stolen it from him. And by someone you mean... Of course it's Newsy Einstein. Search his body right now. There's a gun hidden somewhere. Hold on a moment. We're not so... We're still not quite sure if he really was carrying the gun with him at all times. Maybe he could have hidden it somewhere else. A gun, of all things? Alright then. Group thinking time. Suppose you, got, you just got a gun. Would you carry it around at all times, or would you hide it someplace secret? <laughs> Well, it'd be a huge problem if someone steals it, or I somehow lose it. So I'd probably carry it around with me. Nikkei, come here for a sec. Let me check your body. No, you can't. Oh, what's... Oh, no. What do you mean I can't? Nikkei, you really are the... Dude, this, goes, this just shows that you don't know anyone. You really don't know anyone. Unless you, like... Unless you actually spend a good amount of time with people, you don't know them. You don't know who they are, you don't know what their intentions are. I'm not saying be paranoid, but... Wow, I really liked him, and it turns out he's a rat. Damn, that hurts. Yeah, you're right. I stole the gun from Shinji. You better put that away. And I am the mastermind who plotted this case. So it was you. So what? What difference does it make? I'm not the culprit. What? Well, I gotta admit that you did get things right. I was the last one to leave the power room, but when I came back to the crime scene after hearing the body discovery announcement, there were some things that I didn't get. I didn't even consider the possibility of Sora interfering with the plan. I just thought it was some other third party. Now that I see it was actually Shinji taking... Yeah. So by those words, are you confirming that all of that was a lie? That there was someone helping the voids and that Shinji was that person? No, I think he was lying way before that. I always thought that you acted a bit suspicious, ever since you bowed down to us. Are you serious? That long ago, you don't say even lied about betraying the voids? Didn't I warn you? Didn't I warn you? We voids are full of liars. Hey, don't assume that I lied about everything. The part about wanting to kill Mikado was true, it's just that I couldn't tell you every detail about it. All of this was part of a plan to kill Mikado. So if you just stayed down without doing anything, stupid, the plan would have worked. I did something stupid? A plan? What plan? Oh my god. I'll take it'll take forever to explain everything, so if I just tell you the basic gist. I wanted to make Yuki Maeda the black. That was my ultimate goal in this case. What? Why? Make Yuki the killer? Why? How does that benefit you in any way? I get it? Iroha, what do you get? What? Oh, I mean. I don't get it. What is this? What is she saying? What is happening? Now that we've got the guy, can you finally ask him the question and end the trial? Ask what question? What do you mean, what question? The reason we've been dragging this trial out is because he wanted to know why Shinji did that. Hey, Newsy, you should know why he picked that option, right? Then answer. As you may have guessed, Shinji's no traitor. He never even attacked us. He was simply put too good for this world. All he wanted to do was protect us. Wait, if he truly wanted to protect us, then why didn't he attack me? When I met him in the power room, he ran up to me with a really scary face. I don't know the exact rundown of what happened because I was knocked out. But that was probably to protect Yuki from harm. What the heck does that mean? When I knocked myself out, the power room was in su wasn't in such a mess as it is right now. Even if Shinji broke the machines, the machine parts to cause a fire, the walls and floors should have stayed fine. But perhaps parts of the uh, power room ceiling... Power room came crashing down at that moment. And Shinji leapt at Yuki to s in order to save him from the What kind of nonsense is that? Did you see it happen or something? The walls and foundation for the power room were a bit old to begin with. It wouldn't have surprised me if it had broken down even earlier. Shinji was buried under the debris when I arrived at the power room. Shinji ran over to Yuki and got buried under that debris afterwards. That means... No, that shouldn't be it. He did get buried under those pile of rocks, but that was because he crashed into the wall. 
I don't think you don't want to admit this, Yuki. But as a person who heard his last words, I can guarantee this. Should you would never try to attack you, it'll be near impossible to find someone as trustworthy as him. I think you have the right to say that, Nika. Huh, you're right. After all, Shinji did die at the end because of me. But all I did was set up the stage. The one who actually thought ill of Shinji and attacked him was Yuki, remember? So, it was my misunderstanding? It was my fault? That can't be. I couldn't have done that, dude. This is horrible. Set up some flags with the rumor about the traitor, and act as if you got knocked up by Shinji Kasai. Who gave you, who gave you a gun? Who you gave a gun? It's almost like you tried to mind control Normie Boy by using situational flags. But this all feels too forced. Even if Yuki was panicking, he, did he, would he really make the mistake of someone trying to save him as someone trying to kill him? And the timing of the walls in the power room coming down, it all feels too perfect. I guess you still haven't realized it yet. This world is almost ready. If we avoid yearn for it, what? Then whatever process it takes, fate would reward us with the result we wanted. That was all more the reason to make Yuki the Blacken before it was too late. What does that even mean? So why did Shinji do that in the end? He got stabbed by Yuki, buried under rubble, and got his throat cut by Sora. And if he was still alive after that, and he, you know, did that, there would only be one reason why he would do that, to save Yuki, to make him not the Blacken. That was why he did that. Wow. But in the end, it was Sora that made the finishing blow on him. When I cut Shinji's throat using Nikkei's hand, Shinji was unconscious. He got up only after everyone left the scene, then he would know that- Then he would never have known that I had interfered. Yeah, because he had interfered with the plan, everything went wrong. Shinji should have died on the spot and never woke up. He would have never had the chance to even think about saving Yuki. But how come? Only those with the same power would be able to change the result. Just what did I miss? But what's with the fire? If he wanted to die, then why did he go through the hassle of causing a fire? Perhaps the fire wasn't what Shinji Kasai originally intended. By the looks of it, those damaged machines, he tried to damage- He tried damaging his body through bruises to do that. But our bodies are sturdier than you think. You can't die that easily from crashing your body into stuff. Well, he wasn't the brightest one among us, after all. Then, he could have just used those same glass shards to stab himself. Hurting yourself using sharp weapons is harder than you might think. Why do you think they often use guns to kill- Yeah. Because all it takes for you to end yourself is just a bit of force from your fingertips. Who here can confidently say that they're physically capable of, ki of doing that with sharp weapons? Seems like everything's been settled then. To summarize it, Shinji went on a rampage trying to, you know, yeah. And when the machines broke down and the fire went loose, he decided to go down that route, correct? Well, he can't confirm anything for sure since no one actually saw him doing it. But by the looks of it, that looks to be the most probable theory. Big Bro did that just to save me? Why? I even stabbed him. I trusted Nikkei's words and suspected him as a traitor. Why? Yuki is the most messed up from this trial. Yuki. You! This is all your fault, Nikkei. He doesn't care. Why would he care? What's wrong with you? Why did you do this? What is your plan and why did you go this far with it? Why would you lie to us? Let's just end the trial for now. I got work to do? Are you kidding me? Hey, Monocro, start the voting. Wait, Iraha? So do we have to vote for Nikkei? Shinji killed, but it was Nikkei who planned everything. And uh, wait, is that not it? Who's the Blacken then? Please stop talking. <laughs> Were you asleep this whole time? <laughs> no, I get what happened. I got it, but just stop talking. I mean, this case isn't your normal murder case, granted. How about we go everything through everything once more and just explain it to Iraha? Please, God, no. We've wasted enough time. Just don't... Uh, yes, please. <laughs> this is the only reason we're doing the closing argument. <laughs> like, oh my... With Nikkei telling us the truth, we've finally matched every single puzzle piece. This is the end. Let us go over this whole case one final time. Dude, this was this was horrible. Oh my god. Before we go over this case, let me remind you that the whole case was planned by Nike. He first dropped false info on us as a bait, telling us that someone is helping the void behind our backs. 
After the meeting, Nikkei used the stun gun to kidnap Yuki and took him to the power room. And he called over the real culprit of this case to create a situation he wanted. Nikkei's goal was to push Yuki into killing someone. As soon as Yuki woke up, he used the stun gun to knock himself out. Witnessing this scene, Yuki mistakenly thought that the culprit had attacked Nikkei. Here, Yuki said that the culprit rushed at him to attack him, but in reality, it was in an act to save Yuki from an unknown danger. However, Yuki, panicking, grabbed one of the glass shards lying on the ground and used it to stab the culprit's throat. Dude, after realizing that he killed someone, he ran away from the scene in fear. It was at that moment that I entered the power room from the secret passageway below and witnessed the whole thing. And I also had made a mistake. I thought that Yuki had killed someone. At that time, there were two people in the power room. The culprit who was bleeding beneath the pile of rubble, and the unconscious Nika. After checking up on the culprit, I realized that he had somehow miraculously survived the wound. However, the thought crossed my mind. The thought that crossed my mind was not safe to save the dying culprit, but to save Yuki from becoming the culprit. To be honest, I, don't, I still don't know why I thought it was okay to do that. After gripping the glass shard with Nikkei's unconscious hands, I used his hand to cut the culprit's throat. Oh my god. And this, by the rule of the last person to cause harm to the victim becoming the culprit, the killer was no longer Yuki. Though I admit I did something horrifying to Nikkei in return for that. After I ran away from the power room, Nikkei soon woke up. We first believed that his words... We first believed his words that he ran away in fear from the crime scene, thinking him as a victim of all this. But in reality, he must have been thrilled, as his real objective was to make Yuki the black in this case. The culprit was dead, and it looked like Yuki had ran away from the crime scene. However, unbeknownst to him, I had interfered, and his hand was even used in the crime. When Nikkei left the scene, there was only one culprit left in the power room. But, by some stroke of luck, he was alive. It was both because Yuki and I didn't check if he was actually if he actually died after doing our deeds. Culprit wasn't some traitor for the voids. In fact, he was someone who we knew and loved all this time. Even in his dying breath, he thought of Yuki, the one who had stabbed him. Soon after checking the state he was in, the culprit made the brave decision to do that in order to save Yuki from becoming a black. In other words, he yeah. At first, he tried bashing his body into the machines inside the power room. The traces of blood in the machines proved this, that, but that wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. That enough wasn't going to cut it. At that moment, the machines broke down and caught fire. As a firefighter, the culprit must have known how fire could be used to end one's life. So he jumped into the fire willingly to end his own life. In the, in the meantime, the power room was located deep under the, t under the tower that it took a while for us to, to notice the fire. I butchered that, I'm so sorry. We all soon gathered at the power room and we each thought to ourselves. What first came to mind for Yuki, Nikkei, and me was how the place caught on fire. This was to be expected as none of us had caused the fire. This was later used as evidence to deduce that the culprit had, yeah, while the others were in despair that we had just suffered yet another victim. Yes, in the end, this case had no actual culprit. It happened because Shinji Kasai got caught up in the stage that Nike Yamiori had set up. Oh my god, dude. What do you have to say, man? You! I, I understand her anger, I really do. Yurika? Sora, can I beat this guy up? The rules still don't work, right? No violence, Yuriko. I mean, the rules still don't apply yet, but still. Just why? Why would you do this to us, you piece of... He's not saying anything. Bro, why would you save someone like me? Yuki, are you... No, he's not alright. Don't even ask that. Don't be too hard on your... I'm not even reading that. Are you kidding me? A lot of these characters are pissing me off. Uh, can we vote and leave now? <laughs> Saibai just wants to leave. 
Nikki, I did something horrible to you. I know I have no right to say anything to you. But in the end, we both survived. We both weren't the culprit. So please, tell us. Tell us why you did this. Damn, I did pretty good. Holy crap. Yeah, give me that A. I did good. Yeah. Okay, this is... I should be happy right now, though. Has everyone calmed down? I apologize first for not properly doing my job on this island due to my recent memory loss, but the class trial must still go on. In whatever roadblock we had faced, we must still put an end to this. Now then, please vote for the culprit using the switch in front of you. Keep in mind, though, I imagine none of you had tried pushing the panel belonging to the dead. You can still vote for a dead person doing that, so no worries. Now, will the choice be the correct answer or not? Let us see. This trial was such a mess. Wow, he really did it. Dude. That would be correct. The real culprit of the real culprit of this murder is Shinji Kasai. You have gotten it right. <sighs> Pro. Jericho, what are you doing? Let go of me, Sora, before I knock that dumb hat off his head. No, beat him up till he's dead. I'm not going anywhere. I get how you feel, but you must calm down. There are still questions we need to ask him right now. Shinji was the culprit, but according to the rule, but only according to the class trial rules. He's the real culprit. Nikkei killed Shinji, and he got away with it as if he did nothing wrong. <laughs> what? Ow, that hurt, mister. Enough with it, you bastard. How dare you? What, what happened? You tricked me, you dirty scumbag. Teria? What are you doing? Stop this instant. Although the regulations are not in effect at the moment, this is a breach of no one cares. Monocro. Mm -hmm. Huh? Be still, this isn't your place to speak. That is very unsettling. Even Mikado told him to shut up. Like, wow. Why? Trick you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Didn't we have an agreement? What? Can you please let go of me? You didn't tell me about this. Why did Shinji end up dead if all you said wasn't true? Hold on, what are you talking about? Terry, what's up with you? Why are you so suddenly fired up? You've been downcast for the entire trial. You wonder why? It's because he was with me the whole time. What? To be more exact, I was in league with both sides of you, like a double agent. Do you get it now? I don't get it. What? What? I asked you all to keep my identity a secret from Terry since he's not trustworthy. But I also told Terry the same thing, so help me out since I can't trust anyone else. What? So you were secretly intriguing with him as well? Yeah, and thanks to that, Terry and you all started doubting and fighting each other. Just like I planned all along. Thanks to Terry going in line with my intent, I got the perfect setting to carry out my plan in that tower. In line with your intent? Terry locking us up was a part of your plan too? Are you crazy? He's a void and you let him talk you into that? Wait, let me talk. I just thought he was... Hey, don't be so harsh on him. Didn't you all do the same when I revealed my identity to you? That's different. If you ordered Terry to lock us up, that's like asking someone to commit a crime for you. He didn't. I suggested it first. He told me there was a way to keep everyone alive. He said that if the plan worked, then we'd be able to finish off Mikado for good. I was so carried away by the thought of protecting you all, keeping you all from dying and taking down Mikado. I don't want to blame you when everything's already said and done. We were all toyed by Nikkei, that's... that's all. Nikkei was working with Terry at the same time as he was begging us for forgiveness. Isn't that inconsistent with the time frame of things? Time frame? What? Yeah, right. If the imprisonment was a scripted thing, he couldn't have planned it with Terry while we were on a sale. He said the fourth island glitching out was an unexpected event even for him, right? Huh? What do you mean? Nikkei did tell me about the fourth island while we were on sale. What? Wasn't anything big, but he told me to go get the gun from the top of the tower as soon as we arrived. 
The gun was in the tower from the beginning? So you knew. Then what about the things he told us? Fabrications, lies, what did you expect? But he told us the Tower of Babel is a result of that Ray person interfering with the outside. Sorry for that. I didn't expect you to seriously take it for real. Though I did, I do think it was a pretty good pretext. I already knew everyone was dead, but wow. Of course it's a lie. How the hell would I know if she survived or not anyway? Oh my god. But it's true that this is all virtual reality. But the fourth island isn't what the Void intended it to be. So the Tower of Babel is a set for Mikado's execution that I made in secret without telling you other voids. In secret? But really, I never thought you would all be so gullible to trust me that much. I guess all those acting lessons I got from Emma for fun paid off. Dude. You really don't know a person until you actually spend time with them. You scumbag. Is this fun? Is this all funny to you? I think it's fun to play with us like that? Hey, stop it. That hurts. I see. I've been following this conversation, and I must admit, this was certainly not taking in, taken into account in my plan. When did you alter the code? I don't think- I don't believe there was a- there was a task you could have done entirely. Do I need to answer, Mikado? Ah, everything was a lie. Other than a few pieces of facts, everything was a stage prop for Nikkei to manipulate us in the way he wanted. We're in a virtual world, this isn't reality. Which means even if we die, we won't die in the real world. Then everyone who died... Yep, yeah, and he said that shit with a smile too. Those words along I had believed as the absolute truth. I wouldn't have even thought about making Nikkei the Black and otherwise. No, perhaps I'm just trying to make excuses for myself. Whether it may be... Whatever it may be, one thing's for sure. Those hopes that the dead would still be alive were snatched away from us. Oh my god. Yaddy, yaddy. And I warned you, my friends, that Void is an organization of liars. I'm sorry, this is all my fault. I got desperate, not to let what I've been through happen all over again. That's why I got foolishly tricked by that. Oh my god. Why? For what reason? Are you doing this to us? What did we do wrong? Why? You know, I see you're trying to make me into some unforgivable scumbag for all this, but... When I said I was gonna kill Mikado, I really didn't mean it. Didn't I tell you that moments ago? Yeah, I'll, I'll admit I used some dirty methods, but I couldn't help it. You wouldn't have believed me otherwise. What does that mean? Why? Because Yuki Maeda needs to die? Oh my god, I feel so bad for this guy. What? Come to think of it, he said a while ago that his purpose was to make Yuki a killer. Are you kidding me? How are making Yuki the killer and killing Mikado related? You're just making things up, aren't you? Hey, do you guys remember what I told you back then? I said there was a reason that each of you got involved in this killing game. Yeah, so what? Aren't you all curious about it? About why you were dragged to some mysterious place to go through this trouble? It's all because of Yuki Maeda. What? Well, I left it obscure at the time, but Yuki is Mikado's Void's goal itself. To be more precise, putting Yuki through the ordeal of a killing game. To erase his original personality and bring in another? That is the ultimate goal and the reason for Void's existence. What? This poor child! Do you get it now? You're all just sacrifices for Yuki. Nothing more than an extra whose role is to die in this killing game for him. Nikkei, is it okay to say all that? I mean, yeah, dude, she's outed herself like seven times now, I really don't care. Hold on, I'm still trying to process all this. For Yuki? Dude, please, this kid. This kid needs therapy. I don't think therapy will save me. Mikado Sonoji is a man with a fanatic ex obsession with this plan. It's as if his entire life was for that single purpose. Nothing would have been a stronger blow to him than getting rid of his goal. Was that really the only option? You could have just gone for Mikado directly. Why did you target Yuki when he did nothing wrong? 
Even if the goal was just to kill Yuki, there was no need to go so far to make him as a killer. I know, what? Shinji died because of your ridiculous plan. You're right, Teria. I don't care what happens to Yuki. Mikado's the real deal here. Attacking and killing Mikado or Yuki myself. If that was possible, I wouldn't have bothered to put this whole act and try to lock you up. What are you... Just look at Yuki right now. Yeah, no. Oh my god. Mikado's plan is nearly complete. There wasn't a normal way left to kill Mikado or thwart his plan anymore. So that was your reason. That's why you decided to take advantage of this killing game's rules. The rules of this killing school trip? No matter what the circumstances are, the power of the rules are absolute. If someone somehow succeeds in making Yuki the Black, it would be game over for me. If the Black and Yuki wins the class trial, I would be executed along with the others by the rules. And if he loses, he would be the one to be executed. Oh. It was really close. I was one move away from finishing the move. So you, Sora, decided to be an idiot and screw everything up. <sighs> I don't even know how to feel about this. I'm gonna be honest. This is... I, I'm like... There's a, in, there's a multitude of emotions. What? Just... What about Yuki Maeda? Makes us all have to die for him. And void to do all of this. To reunite with Master Utsuro, of course. Utsuro? That name, we heard it from Nikkei's room. Now, this is getting longer than I expected. I've been keeping silent to let Nikkei have his moment for a brief while. Abunai, abunai. But it is too early to for it's too early for anything further than this. I'm afraid I must end it here, and as it may disrupt the plan's final stages. What? Oh, I will say that despite my looking down on you, overall your performance was excellent. I believe that deserves a compliment. But as you can see in the end, how many times should I repeat this? The outcome is already set. Dude. Have you finally realized that whatever you do is a mere kitten's play in the face of his power? Yes. I accept defeat. His powers exist in me as well, and yet I have failed. This should mean this was my fate. Exactly. You cannot go against the will of fate. It was a grand voice plan from the beginning. There were risk factors scattered everywhere. Even my own life was at stake too. I shouldn't have done it from the start. I see, so? It was thoughtless of me to do that. I should have... I should have... Should have what? Okay, I... Put the gun down! Put the gun down! Please put the gun down! I should have done this from the start. Mika took out the gun he stole from Shinji, the inside of his clothes, and pointed it at Mikado. Nikkei! Yes, a thoughtless endeavor. The more variables there are, the more my fortune will be affected. There wasn't a need for a complicated plan. I should have done this earlier. When Nikkei held up his gun, his face almost looked like a demon. That face was well enough to remind me of his fellow voids, Hajime and Emma. And Nikkei's degree of insanity seemed to exceed them. What the fuck is wrong with him, man? To think I used to like this guy? I knew it was a wise choice to take this gun just in case. Careful with that gun, Nikkei. What are you gonna do, shoot me? Bit too late for that, I'd say. Honestly, Mikado can just hack. Like, honestly. He, he, he has admin rights, dude. A gun's not gonna do anything to him. He just teleport out of the way. Did you not put up this act because you knew that such a feat would be impossible? Sure as hell no I can't kill you with this. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done all that to keep you on, on watch with Setsuka. They'll be the ones to take the bullet. They'll be the Who? Are you talking about us? What? Don't shoot me! Oh, so you're eliminating the actors instead of the director? Still, that won't result in my own death. Don't do this, Nikkei. You're gonna end up dead, too, if you... It doesn't fucking matter. As long as I can give you a big middle finger in the face. I don't mind dying. I was dead from the moment my plan in the tower failed. You won't let me live, and I'm all out of tricks here. This is my last stand. What are you doing? Are you gonna shoot us for real? No! Get behind me, I'll at least be able to- Teria, no! Nikkei, frankly, I wouldn't recommend pulling the trigger right now. Even with my earlier comments, I do not intend to abandon you yet. It'd be a waste for a great colleague like you to die. Okay, now he's just trolling. Huh? What's that? Mikado, are you panicking right now? Huh. <laughs> 
This feels great to see the great fucking Mikado himself anxious like that. I guess this is the right answer after all. I'm saying this for you. It's not too late even now. We can work together once again. Enough of your BS. Look, I'm gonna screw up your plans now. I won't shoot you or Yuki. I'll just kill all the others. What the fuck, dude? The outcome has already said I'll ruin the process. You want me to stop? Kill your... Do that this instance. Then I'll... Instant. Then I'll consider... Reconsider the shooting. Dude, what the hell? Someone take the gun from him! Stop! Ike, why are you doing this? What could you possibly gain from this? Did Setsuka die for nothing? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Nikkei, please stop. Die. What? 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 Uh... His hand exploded? As soon as Nikkei pulled the trigger, the gun in Nikkei's hand blew up from the inside with raging gunpowder, and Nikkei's right hand split into pieces. Did Mikado use fire magic to blow up the gun from the inside? Oh my god. What? What the? My hand. Huh? Oh my god. Well, you should have listened when I told you. <laughs> I- I'm- I, I was trying to talk, but I couldn't, because this actually just scared the living shit out of me. I- okay. Oh. Oh my god. My hand. My right hand. Your right hand, your biggest pride and the reason for your existence. Has become an abomination, are you alright? What's wrong? Have you not risked losing your life when you, when you defected from Void? Did you not say with your own lips that you do not mind death if you could bring forth my demise? It's just the right hand. A mere appendage ripped off, and yet that's all it took for you to break. Is this a joke? Even the emotionless Kokoro would laugh at the sight of this. Why did the gun explode? That gun was working perfectly, I know, because I held on to it for a while. There was no way for it to blow up. My hand hurts. It hurts. Okay. You really are the best, Nikkei. You're a person perf you're a person perfectly suited to toy around with. In addition, your skills are an on an exceptional level. It's your contribution. Contribution! The plan was brought even closer to completion. What do you mean by- Nikkei, you said you were going to disrupt my plans. I was prepared for that, and thus I set a trap. Yeah, I, I have to admit some points. Modulating the fourth island, blocking my magic? Leading Yuki to murder? This revolt of yours was indeed well thought out. But ironically, my plan was able to take another step forward because of your actions. It shouldn't be a surprise considering the flawlessness of your reenactment of this case. Quite unlike a certain incapable person. How so? The reenactment obviously failed. Of course you do not understand. Because I intentionally gave you a phony summary of the fourth case. When the two of us first met, I immediately knew that this would fool this fool would betray Vade Void someday. Oh my god, I can't talk. What does that even mean? Hold on. Thus when briefing Nikkei, I lied on the fourth case to be reenacted. I lied. Do you know what this means? You Mikado Sinoji. You must have thought your defection and the havoc you unleashed was all for the demise of Void. But who would have known that your act... But who would have known that the act of yours ended up be, being your biggest contribution to Void instead? The irony. Can you feel it, UK? No, it can't be. And I have told you when we met in your room that you are performing better than expected, that the both of us are mere puppets under his power. 
The outcome is set, and the process simply comes with it. That is fate. That is the power of fortune. That is the power of divine luck. You know, you for, like you forget, or you, but I forget that Mikado can, you know, be this horrible person. Apart from all the comedy, the comedic relief that he does every now and then, he he's the main antagonist. You have to remember that. He can be scary if he wants to be scary. More than that, my mind was wondering why Nikkei's gun blew up. Why his hand has become a mess and what was about to happen. Also, Saibai left. My brain seemed to be to have trouble processing the situation itself. And no one moved an inch aside from Nikkei and Mikado. It would, have to, it would have been hard to take this as a reality if it wasn't for the smell of gunpowder and blood from Nikkei. No one said he was... No, he said this wasn't reality to start with. It's not over. There's gotta be a way left. There's no such thing. And that is because you, Nikkei, rid the plan of its biggest imp... imp impediment? Shinji. Nothing could be more perfect than the job you have done, Nikkei. But I was being sincere, you know. I would have forgiven you had you just put the gun and swear to join Void again. Though, of course, as someone who knew impetus of the impetus of fortune is, infer is an inferior inferiority complex, I cannot talk. I'm sorry, I've been talking for like two hours now. You would never have allowed it to happen. What is going on? I can't get a grasp of- yeah, me neither. I really don't. I don't understand. Why did Nikkei try to shoot us instead of Mikado? Why did the gun blow up? What does Mikado mean by all of this? This is quite enjoyable. While I do enjoy some- what? While I would like to enjoy this some more, it seems the time has come for this to end. Monocro, the preparation, if you may. <coughs> preparation? Preparation for what? What other thing could it be? The execution of this miserable wretch? What do you mean? What? Why? Who, may I add, violated the rules? What? The rules? What are you talking about? The no-violence rules stopped applying a long time ago. I thought Nikkei wasn't the only one who went hitting people. What is this? All of you, check the rules tab of your e-handbook. What? What is happening? Betraying Void is strictly forbidden? Betraying- He- He's dead. Mikado is such a hacker, dude. Oh my god, what is this rule? There wasn't such a thing until... Huh? Violated a rule? Rule. Oh no. I have identified violation of rule 17. The offender will be executed immediately. What? Dude, this guy's literally just hacking. This isn't... What is this? What is happening? Mikado, what is the meaning of... You mustn't wonder. All you should know is that our time here is over. Goodbye, Nika. You were an amusing toy to play with every moment from beginning to end. This is the end? No. This can't be. This can't be happening. Damn it. You should die. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you, Mikado. I'm gonna rip you to shreds. I prepared a fitting punishment for the perpetrator of the violation. Nika Yamiori, the ultimate journalist. Oh my god. This punishment time. I, I want to feel bad for him, but I can't. Nika has violated the rules. It's time for punishment.
What a waste. Perhaps I should have let him live. Imagine him stuffed with the wind. Oh, no. No. So, Nikkei has left us. He said himself that people being alive in real life despite dying in this virtual world was a lie. So I don't know whether what he said was the truth or not. But more importantly, even Nikkei couldn't avoid the impending doom in the end. Whether this virtual reality... Whether this is a virtual reality or not, the person named Nikkei is no longer with us. Why did you kill him? <laughs> hey, Mikado, why did you kill Nikkei? And what's with this weird new rule? <laughs> well, I cannot answer that at the present moment, or perhaps never. What? This was not an execution. It's a murder, Mikado. Nikkei did not violate the rules of the killing school trip. Monokuro, you just went on with the execution after seeing this rule? You're an instructor. You said you were a judge. I'm sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? It already happened. Are you serious? Monocro! He ran off. That was impressive. Nikkei was a subhuman who deluded you and murdered Shinji. You do realize that, don't you? What makes you speak up for him even so? I'm not speaking up for him. I'm equally as scummy as a, of a person for using Nikkei's hand to cut Shinji's throat. And even I know that you're the scummiest among us. I see. Nikkei was a liar, though we couldn't exactly tell which of his words were true or not, and which weren't. We know the source of all the trouble here is you. Nikkei got what he deserved, but he hated you genuinely. It's his hatred for, of you that drove him to this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That assumption of yours is not unreasonable. In a way, Nikkei may be a victim who was caught up in my plan. So aren't you curious about what made me do this? What? Terry should know the answer, though it wouldn't occur to him at the moment. There isn't even a need for me to spell you out. To spell it out, Nikkei already gave you enough hints. Sateto. Since we've dealt with the traitor, let us dismiss the court. I will send out an additional notice. What? What? Yuki? Mikado Sanoji. What was that just now? Was that Yuki? My friends were not your friends. I believe we are nearing the end. Yes, the end. What kind of nonsense is this? Hey! There are four people in the room. That's how many people have died. There are four of them. Since the end of the trial, Yuki has been standing in his place without saying a word. Even when Nikkei aimed his gun at us and when he got executed, Yuki stood there endlessly shedding his tears. And all of a sudden, Yuki was gone from the courtroom. I felt like Yuki Ma the Yuki Maeda we knew and have been together with didn't exist anymore. I know him? Sora, did you say something? Huh? Oh, did, did I say something? Um, the trial's over, right? I've got to use the bathroom, so I'll be leaving. It's just here. Wait, when did Saiba even get out of here? Sora. We should go up too. There's nothing left to do here. What are you doing, Teria? Failing at everything, you're the worst. Teria, wait, I have something to say. Sora, are you ignoring me? I'm calling you. There we go. It's only us two, good. I have a question for you, Sora. Yuriko, can we talk later? I have to talk with Teria as soon as- LISTEN TO ME! Hold oh my god. Sora, you really don't know? About Yuki's identity. About Yuki's identity? Yuki said so, right? Yuki is Void's sole target. We're just extras needed to set up the killing game for him. And you, Sora, you dirtied your hands just to save Yuki from becoming the Blackened. There must be something behind this. There's no other way to explain what you did. Yuriko, why are you asking me this? I never lied to you. Even I have trouble trying to think about why I did that back then. Sora, have you not realized it? What you did is... murder. Though the rules would say Shinji's the culprit, you played a role in this murder, too. Yeah. I know. And I can understand why you feel that way. It's morally... It's not because of that. Yuriko. I don't want to do this to you either, but... You're lying to me. You know something, and you're hiding it from me. From all of us. Do you know how betrayed I feel by that? 
Of course it was wrong for you to take part in murder, but I'm not in the position to lecture you about ethics. I also worked at a bar faking my age before I came here, remember? That's a crime as well. It's true that you did something despicable, but everyone makes mistakes. You just have to reflect on your past mistakes and pay the price. It's just a complaint. Like I said before, I thought of us I thought of us as being on the same boat. And now you're just hiding something from me. Hide? I didn't hide anything, I really didn't. Yes, you do know something. If you really think you don't, then you must be lying to yourself. Wow, I'm lying to myself? Yeah. You lost your memories, I know you're scared. But you must know something about Yuki, so be honest with yourself. I still want to trust you, Sora. Yuriko. There's something you shouldn't do no matter what, but your circumstances force you to do it. What would you do, Master? I'm sorry. Huh? I really don't know. Sora. If I do something that's hard to comprehend, it's not by my own will. I feel like I'm being controlled by someone. It was the same this time as well. There was a voice in my head whispering to me endlessly. Save Yuki Maeda. I couldn't resist. No, it was because I tried to resist that I ended up with the worst outcome of using Nikkei's hand. I know it doesn't make sense. I myself am... I didn't mean to do that. That's all I can tell you right now. Sora, Yuki is Void's goal itself. If we if we could know more about him, we might still have hope. But I really don't know. Okay. I get it. Here we go. Can you at least tell me this one thing? How did you get to the power room? Did you really go through the floor like Ira has said? What did you see underneath? I'll tell you later. Right now, I need to get to Teria. entered someone's room without permission, don't you? I'm going to say this up front, but there's nothing I can do for you. I'm someone who's incapable of anything. I can't protect you, or contact the Foundation, or stop Mikado's plan. This is a useless wretch. All I can do is wait for the Foundation to save my ass. Teria, there's something I have for you. You have something for me? What is this, a metal name tag? What's written on here is your reset code. What?! How in the world did you get my- I received it from someone. They said give it to you as soon as possible. So who is this someone? Ray Makaru? Ray Makaru? What? I met her. Ray Makaru, your partner. Now hold on a second. Ray's dead. Yeah, what? Ray died. You heard, Nikkei. If you die in the virtual world, you're dead for real. I know I've thrown out tantrums denying that, but now I know better. Ray left me for good. No, Ray's still alive. I don't know if Nikkei lied, or if he actually didn't know about it, but Ray's still alive. Really? Are you... Is Ray actually alive? Teria, you aren't useless. You're just confused because you got your memories stolen by Mikado. Enter the reset code into your handbook, then your memories will return to you. Did Ray tell you that? Did she tell you to give me this name tag so I could regain my memories? I only had a brief moment to talk with her. She herself probably doesn't know who she talked to. She just said give this- She just said this, give the reset code to Teria. And once you regain your memories by putting in your reset code, 
There's something I want to ask of you. And what's that? What? Alright, you're just going to leave us on a cliffhanger, really? Tell me what you know about Akane Tyra? Why Akane Tyra? What does Akane have to do with anything? This chapter was messed up. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Oh my god. There are seven people alive. Seven. guys so much for watching this episode you guys killed it with the likes dude thank you all so much that was insane i did not think you guys would get that many likes in that much time you guys got 50 likes in under an hour when i asked you for 30 that is insane dude you guys you guys are amazing i literally could not ask for a better a better fan base and i'm so proud it's you guys that i can look forward to to see in my comment section so thank you guys so much for everything, really. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, part five, or part, part, part five, chapter five. I'll do. I'll start chapter five very soon. Um, I'm just a bit burnt out, if you couldn't tell. But I'll start chapter five soon. Don't worry. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this trial in this chapter. It was this chapter messed me up. It really did. A lot of horrible things happened, but. I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Perfect.